Greetings, I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark. Today's Megabyte comes to us from 1 Kings chapter 10. Out of the subject matter, developing leadership. The Queen of Sheba comes to visit Solomon. She notices the meat of his table. His servants were sitting and dressed with very fine apparel. The scripture also says, happy are thy men. The people that served around Solomon were happy. I want to ask you a question as you are a developing leader. What is the attitude of those around you? What kind of spirit do you bring when you walk into a room? Do you brighten up the room or do you cast a shadow in the room? Do you inspire happiness or gloom, sad, fear, or any other negative feeling? Solomon's men were H-A-P-P-Y. Do you know that's one of the greatest blessings that we could have? Far greater than materialistic blessing. Sometimes even greater than relationships. When God has blessed you to be H-A-P-P-Y, happy, I'm happy, I'm content, I'm blessed, I'm satisfied, I'm at ease, I have need of nothing. Well, this was very impressive to the Queen of Sheba when she noticed that Solomon's men were happy. There are some people that may work for you, work with you, work around you, but they're not happy because of you. I believe that when you are the Lord's chosen and you are a wise leader, you inspire happiness. You incite people's well-being. You feed into the good energy and the good emotions of those who are around you. So be happy, be juvenile. Let laughter work as a medicine in your life. Bring joy and gladness to those that you encounter. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.